Hi guys, so this video um, is not how I planned it to be. Uh, as you can see, we have lost uh, part of our plane on the Maiden uh, because it crashed. Um, so the video about to see is the story of that crash. So, so my channel is all about my experiences of what happens when you try and build and fly these things. And it's not about just all the best bits and all the greatest stuff. So uh, yeah, here's my experience of my uh, beloved Dart XL version two launch. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. And, uh, Everything I spoke about, about the setup and all the stuff that people want to know about how I've set it up and auto launch it and all that stuff, that will come on the next Maiden once we've sorted out the problem. So uh, yeah, watch what happened and uh, I'll see you soon. We'll be back. Okay, so here we go for launch. So auto launch, um, I've got the auto launch idle throttle set at 1200. So the prop is spinning before I launch it, reduces torque roll. I just think it gets it in the air a bit, bit easier. Um, and then we're gonna climb to 60 meters or 10 seconds, which ever, ever happens sooner, and then we're going to loiter at 60 meters high, 60 meters radius. Okay, fingers crossed, cross your heart, and all that. Return to launch. Ignition on. Fly, baby, fly. Straight up. I love this plane. No, we've got a problem, Houston. We have just crashed into the trees at full throttle. Oh my God. For some reason, we seem to have a complete failure in the air. Let's go find it, see what the damage is. Off. Set the camera with me so we can see the crash site. Well, I have no idea how it landed here and it isn't completely destroyed. Uh, if you look up at the canopy, it's surrounded by trees. So it maybe just hit with the top of one of these trees really gently and fell. So I've lost the VTX antenna. Battery stayed put. I did put some thing in there to stop it running into the GoPro. Lost one of the winglets. Let's turn it over. Ouch. Nettles. Tree embedded in the olive arm. Uh, okay, so if we ever wanted a test for this foam armour, we've just got it. So it's just been smashing through trees. See all the green on here? I wet my finger. See if this is going to wipe off. I'll get the cloth when we get back to the ground station. So all in all, well, the gods must be with me because I cannot believe that this thing is not smashed to pieces. So go back and diagnose what's actually happened here. Go back to the workshop and fix it up and then I'll have to come back for another maiden. Okay, so got the plane back to the, the home position. Um, I'm, I'm just confused, not just about what went wrong, we can figure that out, but how the hell did that plane land in the middle of those woods with hardly any damage? I mean, the prop is not even touched. Yeah, I've lost a winglet, got a few spares of those, and the VTX mount pulled off straight from the, it's pulled straight out of the connector, no problem there. Um, Bit of the foam armour where this decal was has peeled off where obviously the uh, the VTX mount has ripped out of the plane so it's pulled a little bit of the foam armour off, off with it so I just touched that up that's not going to be a problem. Front of the plane no damage no cracks no scuffs at all. Um, a little bit of damage on the front skid where it's obviously gone through the tree. Got a spare one of those to put on not a problem. Nothing on the underside I can see. Um, so let's give this foam armour a test. So we've got some pretty, so that's obviously been a bit of an impact there where it's taken a chip out of that. So it must have hit around here. So I haven't got any water with me, so I'll just use some spit. It's a bit gross, but see how foam armour works in getting these stains off.
pretty heavily stained, but it's coming off and it's not it's not going down to the foam. So when I get home, I'll I'll give that a good clean and I'll touch it up. Um, so not sure what happened. Um, need to go and investigate. I'll watch the DVR. Um, it's definitely not an ESC failure because I powered the plane up and um, in my hand and it, it, it fires up nicely and a lot of power. Uh, I'll do a, a test. Um, it didn't go into fail safe. That's the strange thing. Um, didn't disarm in the air. Uh, so yeah, at the moment a little bit confused, but uh, yeah, these things happen in this hobby. I'll go and figure it out and uh, we'll come back for Maiden too. Take easy. Ah, okay guys, so I just watched the DVR playback and what happened was the plane went into fail safe. Um, somehow the crossfire lost link, not sure how, I need to check it out. Uh, went into emergency landing mode. It did hit the tree uh, full on and then dropped down. So God knows why it's not completely written off. I'm so lucky, cross my heart. Um, obviously put this bit of footage uh, and the HD footage of the crash on the video. So you'll see that uh, in a minute. But wow, um, fail safe. Okay, uh, need to go and do some homework. Take care. Oh my God, please Lord, tell me. Look, I forgot to put the antenna, the crossfire antenna on the Tyrannus. What an idiot I am. I will never, ever, ever do that again. Cheers guys. <laughs>